Good morning and welcome to your Les Energies. I am sorry about last week. I kind of left you stranded in there, maybe looking for your readings. And it, is, it was a rough week and I'm sure you guys been through it <laughs> too. It was shocking. I had one shocking news after the other, disappointed lot of disappointment, lot of disappointment. And I got to a point where I was in tears and I really couldn't really, I couldn't really do the readings. I could probably and put some words in there, but they won't be from my heart. So another disappointment happened today, this morning. Usually this is when I start the reading for the week. And I, it got me really upset. It's like I knew this is going to happen. But then I prayed on my way to that appointment and I was doing Ho'oponopono. And if this is not good for me, do anything. I you know I, I didn't ask to do anything. I just thought if this is not the best for me, I'm sure things not going to work the way it should. And I kept saying, Ho'oponopono, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. I thank you to myself because I am trying to make it easier for me and went to a doctor where uh, at, at, an, or, uh, an endodontist, actually. Um, even I'm a hygienist and I don't have cavities, but I have a root canal. And my Chinese doctor think this is the stress and the uh, kidney energy. You know, stress affects you. The adrenal gland is above the kidneys. It affects us in many different ways. But then I, I, I had a feeling about this dentist. Even we refer all our patients to him. I got there and it was unpleasant. Something happened. Something happened that is unexpected. And I said, oh my gosh, how could that be? <laughs> you know, a mistake like this doesn't happen usually. But I said, okay, I asked and I'm not supposed to be here. So I left. So, you know, unexpected stuff happen in life and we all have to go through it. And I decided to come to you the way I am. No makeup, no nothing. And I feel when you look into the coffee cup um, and, and you're just looking at the coffee cup, I, I want to be from the heart. I want you to see me. Makeup, no makeup, looking good, not looking good. I don't care. I want you to know that it's coming from my heart. And what I see is from my heart. So I turned the coffee cup upside down. But last week, I, I'm sure it is not just me. I'm sure all of us. All of us had surprises one way or the other, one way or the other. If I start to tell you what happened, I don't think, I think the time will pass. <laughs> so thank you for coming and thank you for listening and thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. And I, I appreciate uh, uh, the fact that you guys care to leave a message and tell me what you think or like, you know. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm a new with the YouTube, I'm not sure how all this work, but I am thinking about changing the way I do things. And I will let you know. I want to let you know too that next, um, this week, I have a retreat and I have to be in it. I'm one of the teachers. So, um, I don't know how much I'll do if I get the chance to do the whole week ahead of time. I will and leave it there for you. And if it's not, my apologies. I'm, I'm doing my best under the circumstances. I want you to look at the coffee cup and see how it looked like, right? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. You see that person rising in there? Oh my goodness. I Let me look. Let me read. Wow. Oh. 
um, and the bottom. The bottom is not uh, it's not that too dark, but it is not clear, clear, clear. It is not, it has been the best, but it could be worse. Last week, it could have been worse. But the disappointment kind of hurt the emotions. And I think we all going through different things in life. Uh, I felt it trapped in my emotions, the pain, it brought the stuff from my past. And I'm sure if you really paid attention, it brings stuff from your past too. You know, emotion bring the past and you sunk down with your emotions, you hurt, you are in pain. And it is not easy to get out of that right away. I mean, some people will go for weeks and months and some of them forever in that emotion. But it took me a couple of days and finally I cried it out. <laughs> Usually it doesn't take me that long. But sometimes when you get off balance and you let the shocking stuff happening around you, the unexpected stuff, the disappointment, how people use you and abuse you. And when you need them, they're not there. They don't even want to be there. You know, everybody want to take, but nobody want to give. That hurt, you know, especially if you are a given person. So uh, we come in now to a new stage, a new week, a new week. And this week is not going to be an easy week. Right, this is really gonna bring a lot of a lot of problems, a lot of things gonna rise to the surface just because of the planetary movements. But it is okay. We know about the planetary movement. When something happens, go look up the astrology. You will know that some planets, when they are facing each other, they button heads and you are reacting. It depends where you are in your zodiac, right? Um, the bottom of the cup, we have a bat, a bat that come only in the dark. Maybe we've been hiding. Well, you know, our emotions been hiding. We all work on ourselves one way or the other, or even the little bit that we do we work on ourselves, and we think that we heal things and then some stuff show up and here we are, the bad. I'm not sure what is the bad. I wish I looked at this earlier, but the bad is more, uh, the bad only come out at night, right? Um, like the dark and, and I, I, I'm feeling that this is the dark energy that is inside of us. This is the energy, the pain that we kind of shoved it down in our system. We didn't think about it. It is going to go on for this week too, at least a part of this week, the first few days. By the, by the end of the week, it is going to get better. But for now, those emotions are going to come up. This is not an easy month. So the bat is all in the bottom of the cup and the eyes, the bat eyes, and it is like, wow, and he is a traveler, but the eyes wide open. There is a person just laying down above that bat, but you're not going to be laying down for long. I'm talking more about emotions, you guys. The coffee cup go into the emotions a lot. And something is going to pick you up. You're going to pick up yourself up and you're going to say, no, no, I am done with that. I cannot go to that energy again. I cannot feel this way again. I'm not gonna be trapped and I'm not gonna lay down with these emotions. I need to heal. I need to heal. And no matter what you think you healed and how much you healed, you still need to heal because you know, the cycle come back over and over and over and we always gonna do some healing as much as we are living, right? For me, I jump straight to Ho'oponopono. The minute I recognized in me, and you know, I was so upset because it wasn't one person, it was bunch at one time. <laughs> one situation, then the other, then the other, then the other. And the last one was the worst. And I burst into crying Friday night, 
Saturday, Sunday, and Sunday night, I did meditation, tried to ground myself, went to the woods, hiked a few trails, and touched the trees and hugged the trees, and then I got back to myself. I got back to myself. But something you, you done with that, you know, there is like a, a lamb trying to pick you up. Um, we sacrifice so much, we give so much, but now it is time to rise up, to think about ourselves. And it's so easy to say that. We all say that to each other. We all want to tell each other how much you are important, you need to take care of you. And even though I think I am taking care of me, stuff like that, when that happened, it really, and the hurt emotions and how I sunk down with the emotions, I realized my gosh, I slipped. I wasn't in balance because if I was in balance, I wouldn't have sunk down like this. And the same thing for you guys. The same thing, we all are human. We all are a bundle of emotions. I think, you know, last week I talked about the bundle of emotions sometime. I don't know which day was it. But you rise up, you rise up. And uh, this, uh, this, um, um, um bat it's a bat it's a it's a bat but it looked like a person and the bat rise up in the light with the wings wide open and i wish i can look up what the bat is all about there is another message so if you're listening to this go google uh, bat for a spirit animal let me tell you the most beautiful thing is when you rise above above those dark emotions when you rise uh, you don't want to hide when you are yourself when you want to feel who you are when you don't want nothing to press you down nothing to make you feel uh, uh, not worse the 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 hustle to become who you want to be you know you stood up with this light and you have your your wings up you know the bat wings up and you're moving forward you're moving forward, but you're stopping in a place where you're looking down. It's like, I'm out of it. I cannot do this no more. I want to move from this emotion. Your hands are up above your head. There is one dot. There is uh, 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 one dot could be one day, one week, one month. But in that dot, something going to happen. The, the, the snake, there is a snake and the snake is just rising. That is the Kundalini. That is the Kundalini. Your Kundalini awakening, your Kundalini becoming more aware. Um, you're looking at things from deeper perspective, from a deeper uh, um, connection, from a deeper, looking deep into yourself and your higher self. You're leaving your ego on the side. You're connecting with that self, the S, the capital S, at a deeper level, at a higher level, you uh, awakening to something in you. You realizing this is not for me no more. You walk in this way, and where you are walking is a, um, is like a a whole universe. It's a it's a whole universe. It's a whole round universe. But the tip of it is like a cup, you know, just like that. It is, and 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 you are heading toward that cup and toward the tip of uh, that because this is where you are laying you are laying above above this uh, uh, probably that one dot that one day one week one month probably this is the time when you're uh, kundalini awaken you moving into a totally different world this world this universe is totally a new universe you move into world and you climbing up on it and you getting to that place where you can relax where you can be peaceful where you laying down you have your feet up it's like you're sitting in that hammock between the two trees and it you just it go it, it sway you around or, or it uh, you can read the book or or um, uh, uh, something above your head you're laying in there but above your head 
uh, you're looking for something in you. You are creating something new. This is the week we've been talking about the changes. We've been talking about changes in the way you do things. This is the week you're paying attention to who you are. You're paying attention to what you're listening. You're really getting yourself grounded. You're giving yourself the time to just relax, take care of you. And you, you're projecting what, how you need to do things. And some intuition is coming to you and, and uh, um, observation of the way you should do things from now on. If it is in a work, in a business, in a, in a different world, I don't know, I don't care. It doesn't matter, relationship. You need to, excuse me, you need to change things in order for us to move on in this uh, Aquarian age. You need to change the way you do things. We're not changing into the Aquarian age only. You have to understand we go into a fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is very high energy. Just imagine your, your, your cells, how many billions of cells uh, vibrating at, uh, let's say, 20,000 times a, a, a second or a minute or whatever. Right, I don't know what is the ratio, but now it is vibrating and double and triple the time. So you're not yourself. The whole earth is not itself. This uh, this uh, virus is uh, that came that made everybody so crazy one way or the other. It's not. It, it, it's the earth rejecting some things. Your body rejecting something. Listen to yourself. Take the time. See what you're rejecting, what you're resisting, what your body want. Your body telling you something. Listen to it. And the way you do things, don't think the grass is greener on the other side. It is not. But the grass is good where you are. If you learn to deal with it differently, change the way you're doing things. And this is why I'm telling you this time, and I'm going to the retreat um, this week, but uh, I'm going to be busy. But at the same time, I'm going to have lots of time in the woods. I'm thinking how I am going to do things differently in my life, because I'm spread all over the place. And it takes so much out of me. And I think now I need to take care of me. And this is not just for me. This is for you too. This is all of us. We all going through the same thing. All of us. And this other pass in here, but you know, uh, let me go back. You laying down, uh, you know, speculating, what is it that you need to change? You have so much ideas come to your head and then all of a sudden it went from dark brown coffee grind to blondish uh, uh, color to a wide opening, to a wide opening. Look at that, look at that. It's a wide opening. You laying into that uh, and you, um, it took you so long to get into this new world that you creating for yourself. You moving uh, through it to it like a like a, a turtle, but you got in there. You need the time to really relax, sit back. You 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 visualizing things. You seeing things. You paying attention to your body. When your mind tell you, go look at this or something when you are on YouTube, show up right in front of you, don't hesitate to, to watch it because you might get the, the idea from that or from somebody else. You go to church and somebody says something, you get the idea from that or your coworker or your husband or wife or whatever, uh, whatever you are, what relationship you are in. It doesn't matter. You are moving on and there is someone someone it could be you it could be someone that passed on 
that's been guarding you all the way from the bottom of the cup throughout life and they uh, they rising with you all this time they are clear or somebody still alive but they care so much about you and they are there to help you and you learn from them or it is someone that the past but this person is praying for you this person you laying on that new planet of yours on your new creation and this person is standing up so clear, so clear, straight up, up in the air with the hands above your head, like they praying for you or they, um, they, they doing some kind of healing for you. They are an influence in you one way or the other. And for me, I don't see legs. When I don't see legs, I think it is someone that passed on already or this is your guardian angel so they are praying for you they affect in your your energy uh, level they are above your head with their hands on your head it's a beautiful it's a beautiful pay attention because no one can do it but you so pay attention to to what happened around you pay attention to this coffee cup reading sometimes i go to listen to somebody speak and my brain goes somewhere else and it's like, oh my gosh, it finished already. I didn't hear nothing, <laughs> you know? So pay attention It is the little details that you're gonna find uh, uh, your peace or your, your future, right? <coughs> okay. Uh, you're rising. You're rising. It's a beautiful. You, it's like you took those glasses and you put them on and you manifesting. You've been manifesting. You've been creating and manifesting. But nothing come to, to nothing come to reality yet. That butterfly is there, but it's surrounded with so much uh, uh, overwhelmed feeling, so much uh, um um, you know, you're not sure, you're not sure, you're not sure, you, you back and forth, you're overwhelmed with what's going on. Every time you put one foot forward, two feet, you go back two feet. Um, it's not an easy thing, but above that, a little bit in the future, now I'm talking about maybe the next couple of weeks, you guys, two weeks from now, Three weeks from now, it is not far in the future. You wear a wedding dress. You have a wedding dress. You standing up straight and you walking. You walking through the future. You wearing a dress that's that's you know how the back of it is just a flow like a wedding dress. It's beautiful, and you standing up and you are walking. Uh, uh, a wedding dress is white dress. It's an it's. You're going in into a new future. This is for men and women. This is not for women only. A white dress going in into a new future, a new relationship, maybe new love coming in. Maybe you thought you're never gonna meet somebody and boom, all of a sudden somebody show up. Uh, or you already uh, walking in into uh, a, a new business a new way of doing things, a new job, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's a new, it is exciting. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be perfect, but it is exciting. It is white, it's a new, and there is a vast a white energy opening right in front of you, which means it's a good road to go through, okay? Let me see here. I'm doing a lot because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get into your uh, next uh, into your next uh, um, uh, weeks, the next few days. I'm not sure because I I kind of changed the appointment this morning. Called another dentist, uh, endodontist, and I'm going to him. You know, uh, they got me in right away once they knew where I work. Right. Um, so uh, I'm not sure how much time will I have, 
but I'm gonna go through this whole cup because it's beautiful and it is very lovely to really see all the stuff that come up in a coffee cup. I have this woman, um, this woman, you're wasting your time. You're looking down at, at others. You're looking down, down to the past. Please, the same message goes over and over. You hesitant, you have so many people in front of you. You could be a teacher or you have so many kids, I don't know, but you taken the burden of so much on your back and you you focusing like on, 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 on something that's, um, so many people in there so many people in there younger little than you and uh, you you it's like you falling down over them you bending over you bending your back you bending yourself to just deal with everything that you need to deal with with those it doesn't matter it could be job it could be a manager it could be a mother it could be a uh, I don't know, a teacher, I don't care, but you're giving too much and you need to stop. And there is somebody behind you uh, trying to grab you from falling. Somebody behind you trying to grab you from falling. And uh, uh, they're holding you in the back of your neck. It's like, you're not gonna go any further. You know, it's like this person, uh, could be your guide too, because I don't see no no legs, right? It could be this person trying to prevent you. And so it is time for you. Many times people will say something to me and I'll say, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't have a stress. You know, this is in the past. Now I know what the stress is. And I used to be so proud of myself. I can do so much. That was so much stress. That was so much stress, which affect me in so many ways. And it affect you too. Sometimes you need to just rest, put your feet up and relax. Relax, this is your time. I never used to watch TV because I never have time. Never had the time to watch TV. You know, now I make it and I, I twice a week, at least I put my feet up and I watch TV. I watch something, something fun, funny. I watch, I, I started to get into those um, Facebook, not Facebook, uh, those um, Netflix uh, series, but I like them in the beginning. Once they get too serious in the middle, I leave them. I, I am like, okay, I don't want the drama. I just want something exciting, you know, but uh, I'm not a, a TV person, but I'm making the time for me to relax and to just that hour put myself into a different frame of mind, you know? Not to get sucked into it, but to put it in there. So things are gonna move on in that, in that uh, path for the people that's given too much, not willing, or they don't think that they can make a change, something gonna happen, something to do with the heart. You guys, this person laying on their back and I can see their heart sitting on their chest. Um, I'm sorry, this is a probably painful something. Maybe that was my turn last week. Maybe your turn is this week. I don't know, but something shocking gonna hurt you, gonna hurt your heart because your heart is above your chest and it's a black, it's a black, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. You laying down and that heart is right above your heart, your, your chest. It is gonna pass. It is not going to be, um, it's not going to be, uh, you're gonna have to make a changes after that, right? Because behind it and in front of it is white, it's a clear. So whatever you're doing, you're doing it for to yourself. So you, the time gonna come that you're gonna realize, or maybe a medical thing, maybe your heart, maybe you start to breathe, you couldn't breathe too, too well. It doesn't matter, but let me see. I wanna, I'm going to just, 
um, I don't like this, but uh, I'm going to pick a card. Oh, 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 oh. This one want to come up. Trust, trust, trust your decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. Your own heart. What do you want? And why are you giving so much? Why are you doing so much? Why are you doing more than anybody else? Stop. It is your time. Make a change. You need to march to your own heart. Funny how it came up to, you know, um, 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 fitting in the coffee cup reading, you know. Um, Okay, <clears throat> some of you right now in the present time, uh, sitting down in a yoga position, and you have you have in your hand um, the um, 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 the lamp, Aladdin lamp. The lamp is in your hand. So what I get from that, you have magic. You have the magic in your hand. So. What I feel, if you really uh, stayed in a, and if you really get yourself into balance, you meditate, you do your yoga. I do qigong. I practice a qigong. When I don't practice a qigong, trust me, I I feel the difference. But that keep the energy all out of your body, uh, uh, flowing in around your body, and into your chakras. Uh, qigong is powerful. Um, uh, um, look, look later. I'm I'm gonna start a class online, if you like to be part of it. But then I'll put it under the video. I have I'm not to start. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I do it uh, in here, uh, person to person. But so many people online asking me for it. So I'll let you know. But um, I think. Once you get yourself into that balanced state, what I call the zero state, where you let go of resentment, of anger, of all the stuff that hold you behind and make you not feel good, once you get, you have to work at it. It doesn't just come and nobody can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself, okay? Once you get to that point, you have, then you, you rise, raise the, um, um, the um, lamp, fenus in Arabic, but lamp in English, the magic come in there and you raising it in your feminine energy in the left hand. You see how I lift, I, I'm, I'm lifting my left hand. The left side is your feminine energy, okay? You need to nurture your feminine energy. We do so much that we forget to nurture ourselves. We get so much into the male energy where we give, 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 do, 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 do. And we feel like we have to, we have to, we have to. And how many of us waste our life just doing, doing, running, running, running. And just because we sit in front of the TV at night, we think we're doing something for ourselves. No, nurturing your feminine energy is totally different, totally different, you know? And I might do a, I might do a, a, a video about that. Just I need to get myself more organized in here because so many things happen in now. But you guys, your left hand, it's calling. Once you nurture your feminine energy, then that lamp, the magic will come out of it. Okay. On your left side, you hold in a big flower. Okay. You hold in a big flower. That means you want to, your, your uh, male energy, you want to bring a beauty. Beauty come, women bring a beauty, men take care of things, but your male energy in you, have it, work it, just to bring a beauty into your life. 
you know, pay the bills and, and whatever, you know, the male energy does and take control of this and that, not to fall behind with this and that, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Make it light, make it light. You don't need so much. We don't need so much. If, if one thing this COVID taught us is that we don't need that much to survive. And if we can connect with ourselves, we make our life way much easier. So the left hand you hold in the lamp, the right hand you hold in this big flower, beautiful flower, beautiful. It's like daisy, you know, or sunflower because it is not a small daisy. It's a big one. It's more like a sunflower. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. It is a sunflower. The sunflower connect with the sun. They look up to the sun. They get their energy from the sun. They get their energy from the father. They connect spiritually to the above, to the father above, to the sun above. But then when the sunflowers, when the dark time come, when nighttime come, when sadness come, those dark, those sunflowers, you know what happened? They are standing in the field and they go like this. They bend against each other, uh, toward each other. They comfort each other. So put this together for you. What does it mean for you? It's very powerful, very powerful. And you have one, two. You have two dots in here for this pass to clear up, okay? Two dots, two days, two weeks, two months, where you, if you already know how to get yourself into balance and know the feminine and male energy, you know what you need to do. And if it's not, it may take you two months because you need to learn and understand, maybe seek someone for, uh, for uh, um uh, uh, help. Uh, if you want to call for a reading, we get into that. It, it show and hear exactly what you need and what you want. And we can go deep into these things. But it is a beautiful. This cup is really beautiful. There is a lot of struggle, but the struggle can evaporate and break out to a beautiful energy with white windows where the sunshine come in where everything change, where the sorrow go uh, and leave, and where the Kundalini rise. When you are in high energy, everything around you collapse. Friendship collapse, kids collapse around you because they expect you to tend to their needs all the time the way they want. <laughs> Your friends, you know, I had a friend that I'm Lebanese, so I cook Middle Eastern food and she loves my food and she loves certain things. And every time I cook them, I'll have her. We've been friends for over 20 years. Friday, I had so much going on. I just, I don't wanna come home. I wanna go out. I wanna get out. I wanna talk to someone. I want to breeze, do something. And I text her and I said, let's have dinner together. And uh, her answer back, she said, I'm not cooking to nobody, I'm tired. And I'm like, what? I didn't ask you to cook. I said, let's have dinner together. Anyway, people of perception, but that was one of the things that really hurted me too, because, <laughs> because it's like, you've been eating in my home for 20 something years. I never come to your home. If I ask, even if I ask, you know, I don't know, probably different culture think differently. Or let's look at it this way. When I give, 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 and you, one time I, 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 I need to, I need somebody and I called on you. Even if you understood it this way, you'll say, okay, I could go buy food or I could buy food. You know, it doesn't matter. This is what I'm trying to say. People and perceptions of things change from people to people. And when you go up in high energy, other people, they're not there no more. 
and it doesn't feel right. You don't fit in and it is sad because the sadness come because you live in that old self, the old you, okay? The way you dealt with things, the way you created your life and your friends and, and, and you, you not you, it is sad, it will break my heart. My daughter passed for five months and a friend of mine I grew up with since childhood. We came to the United States together with friends. When my daughter died, I never heard from her. And that hurt me, that hurt me so bad. And I'm thinking, what is wrong with the world? So that stuff happening with me, but for you, maybe different stuff happening with you. But you, when you get to that point, you have to realize you change and we're moving into a new dimension. We're moving into a new uh, age. We, we got to change and it is sad. Some people hang on and don't wanna change. And some people stay with that energy, but with some of us that want to move up and trying to work on ourselves. It is hard and it is sad, but I want you to know, don't be sad, don't be sad because you let in that old self. You don't like the way you did things anyway. Now you are into this new age and a new things you come into, you're doing things differently. So enjoy that. Give yourself a hug from me. Put your hands around you, your shoulders. Give yourself a hug. You deserve it. Nothing is wrong. Everything is right. We're just moving on. So you guys, namaste, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> hopefully. But if I didn't this week connect, please know that I'm not going to do it if my heart is not totally in it. Bye-bye for now.